Experience the rustic charm of the countryside in Plan Zoo Barnyard Animal Pack, arriving April 30th on PC alongside our free update 1.17. Bring rural beauty to your zoos and let your guests get closer than ever before to these beloved animals that have lived alongside humans for hundreds of years. Plan Zoo Barnyard Animal Pack will feature 7 highly requested animals alongside over 60 new scenery pieces as well as a brand new scenario. First up we have the Sussex Chicken with its curious nature, beautiful plumage and energetic demeanour. The chicken will be a very useful tool for modders if they ever wanted to create some new turkeys and pheasants, unless the chicken has made it more possible for these animals to be added in future DLCs, who knows. But on the Scottish Highlands we have the stunning Highland cattle with its heavy rich coat, gentle personality and affectionate nature. Great for the mountain range we have the playful, friendly and adaptable Alpine goats, which is renowned for their agility and sure-footedness as well as the South American alpaca with its distinctive slender neck, elegant posture and gentle intelligent nature. This pack also introduces the brave and intelligent American standard donkey, the hardy hill radnor sheep from the glorious rolling hills of Wales and the playful Tamworth pig. These friendly animals may even interact with guests if they are in the mood for attention. What better way to experience these animals than by adding a charming and rural feel to your zoo using straw bales as benches for your guests or by placing repurposed cable reel tables for these looking to stop for lunch. This pack also introduces several picturesque fences and gates alongside classic cast iron water pumps, wells, wind pumps, weather vanes and foliage which will be sure to make any habitat feel more homely. When you are ready, returning character Tiffany Summers needs your help as she embarks on a brand new journey to breathe life into a once neglected farm. Team up with Tiffany to create a thriving animal sanctuary Take run-down barns and overgrown pastures and make them into not just a safe and comforting environment for the animals, but also into a home for them to thrive and flourish amidst the New Zealand countryside. Alongside the Barnyard Animal Pack, we are also excited to bring the free update 1.17 to all of our PC players. A number of habitat animals can now be converted into animal encounters, allowing guests to get closer than ever to your animals. Alongside this, we'll also be adding a number of free scenery pieces, including the all-important hand-washing station, an education board, a small guest gate, and the Budleia bush. Frontier will further elaborate on the contents of this update in their upcoming Frontier Unlock livestream on Wednesday. But yeah, that's sounding pretty cool. The animal encounters, I wonder how far that's going to go, whether we're going to get giraffe feeding as well. But I could certainly see myself using this new feature for kangaroo walkthroughs and that sort of thing. Here we get a good look at the alpaca, looking really well detailed in that woolly fur. Uh, and the variation looks like it's going to be pretty similar to the llama somewhat. I don't know if there's any new foliage I can spot. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's any new foliage in this picture, although there could be some. I don't know. The flowers next to the baby alpaca could be new, but uh, I could not tell you. I know the trees in the back, those are silky oaks, which were introduced in the Twilight Pack, so there's nothing new there, but the alpaca looks fantastic. I'm very excited to use these guys. We also get a look at a bunch of new scenery pieces in this in this picture, alongside the Tamworth Peak that we get to see in the pigsty there. So the, the picket fence looks to be flexi-color. Sorry if I'm stuttering, it's been a long day. But... Um, yeah, so the picket fence is looking really nice here with all these different colours. There's also seem to be new signs, arrows, and even some barn doors. I don't know if they're whole pieces or not. You can also see behind, I think, th those guests in the back, a, what looks to be some sort of trough being repurposed into like a flower pot. Um, we've also got some wagon wheels and some hay. Some new tools as well look to be hanging about. Uh, there's also, yeah, a bunch of different hay pieces and some different fences. Like, this is a very um, agricultural pack, and I r do recognize a lot of these things. I don't know if we can see any Bedelia bushes. That was what it's called, right? I, I cannot remember. Here it seems we get a look at the new scenery. Well, not the scenery, uh, the new scenario. Ah, yeah, scenario. That's the word I was looking for initially. But yeah, you got a good look at it, quite bland at the start, I guess. You could really fill in these habitats with a bit more, um, at least when you get your hands on it, of course. Um, you've also got these bins that look like buckets. Interesting idea. 
Um, there's also some bright colored pencils back there with some picnic benches and what looks to be some kind of education boards. I think those pencils may not be new pieces, but actually just mixed, mixed mash pieces of like the art pieces to make pencils. That's what I'm thinking. Get a bit of a look at all the different Sussex chickens here. So we've got the, the big rooster and a variety of different colored hens. We also get a look at the little chicks. Which, in some shots of the trailer, I thought they were all different sizes. I'm just like, what, they added an ontogeny system for the chicken? But I don't think so. I think they they just look that way just based on perspective. But yeah, it would have been cool if they did, though. I mean, these bushes here next to, the, next to the rooster, they look like they could potentially be new. Unless that is um, behind those guests at the back, back right there. That could be the new the bush. That could be the bush. Yeah, I, I could see that being... Our new Bedelia bush. At the start of the trailer, we get a good shot at these hay bales just just lying there in the field. We also get a little shot of the weather vane and what looks to be some sort of water tank. And in the back, we actually do see some of the um, Radnor sheep and what looks to be some of the Highland cattle. You can't really make out their fur as it's too far away for the to generate at this distance but those definitely look like bovine shapes next to the sheep another good look at the chickens here they really do look really good and seem to be behaving very diversely as chickens really do like you you wouldn't think that you, some people say that the chickens are a boring animal but they're actually very interesting when you watch them for a long enough time in the show of the trailer, when we get our first look at the alpaca, you can see this cobblestone wall. However, that doesn't actually look to be its own piece. However, it could be a blueprint. There is a possibility of that, but it looks like a big mix of all the faux rock pieces that we've currently got. Is that an outhouse? Looks like there's an outhouse back there under that sycamore maple. Yeah, I think that's an outhouse. There's also these pretty good wooden fences here. I don't know if this would be a new fence. I think it might just be... All the wooden pieces from the East Asia scenery um, theme just being put together here. As you can see, there's the big water wheel from that, that same set of scenery. Another really good look at all this um, this whole pasture area. This looks so this looks so lovely. I love how this looks. It looks so nice and pleasant. Yeah, I love uh, yeah these cobblestone. There's no way someone would have just sat there and dug that rock by rock right that has to be a blueprint surely unless it's a new fence type i would love it if that was a new fence type that would be insane as that could do really well in like an australian section but i think it, w it would be a blueprint another look at that outhouse there looks to be some new buckets and maybe a new pitchfork could be some um leaning on the outhouse there maybe a new hose and some all, all, all sorts of other wooden pieces, but those could be already existing. The barn doors seem to be flexi color as well. As you can see, those ones are very vibrant. <laughs> now, first proper look at the alpine goat. We get to see it interacting with one of the guests. So the guests seem to come over to the animal, and the animal has to, of course, welcome the guest. Um, so the guest comes over and sort of kneels down and holds its hand out. Hold, holds their hand out, I should say. So he, he comes down later in the trailer and um, kneels next to the goat, and the goat seems pretty happy about it. I think he's shaking in the trailer actually, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how, how these interactions will play out. Here we get a really good look at a bunch of different pieces. So you get, you get the pigsty in the back there, but you've also got the barn here with some of the animal signs on it and a bunch of different pieces. So you got those trough fat flower beds I was talking about, the cobblestone walls, the picnic benches, um, with the new umbrella as well, um, or parasol I should say. Um, we've also got the signs for the sheep, we've got the, sh the, the goat and the chicken. Um, I don't see a pig sign, but um, I'm sure it's somewhere. But yeah, th this pack's going to be very fun to build with. I think all these animals will make for really cool petting zoos in, in our games. Then just one one of the last shots of the trailer here, just looking at the the chicken courtyard. It's a really lovely, lovely paddock here. And, and down in the bottom right, that's where I thought I saw like different sized chicks. 
as you got that one sitting down but it must be just on an angle compared to the one that's packing at the ground next to it but yeah it's <laughs> an easy mistake to make but it would have been cool if that was the case now, I just wanted to take some time on this slide to say, yeah, I don't think this is the last pack. Like, if this was the last pack, uh, we'd probably know it, but 17? That's not a nice even number to end on. Like, you don't end on a number of 17, but that's not the main reason, of course. Like, the reason why I think this pack came into being is because of Console Edition. So, Console Edition was a major release for Frontier. And, of course, most of the team would be wanting to get Console Edition off its feet initially. So, working on a much simpler pack with animals that resemble pre-existing ones in the game. So, the alpaca resembling the llama, the goats with the ibex and doll sheep with the randor sheep, and the highland cattle with the rest of the, the bovines, and um, pig with, yeah, all, those, all these animals are basically domesticated versions of what we already have so there you go so these are simple animals and a very quaint dlc to start off the year because console edition is as i said a big release so they weren't going to do something so diverse and complicated like south america at the start of the year i was confident that was going to happen but i was also lacking in confidence somewhat so i'm glad that it came to this because this is a pretty nice pack in, in case of what it could have been um it could have been south america which would have been phenomenal but it isn't because console edition took up a lot of time so it makes sense as to why we got this but this is this would this would be the last pack because they're just getting started this year so hold your horses don't <laughs> keep an open mind don't think of, of the end is near so soon like, the game is, of course, coming to an end. But not right now. I don't think this is, this is not the last DLC. I can say that with confidence. So, put your fears to rest. And just enjoy the pack for what it is. It, that's, of course, if you actually like this pack or not. I don't know. I've seen a lot of people very ambivalent on the pack. So, yeah. But, yeah. Keep Put, put, put your fears at bay and enjoy the Barnyard Animal. So yes, that is the barnyard animal pack with all these beautiful farmyard animals, the chicken, the pig, the cow, the donkey, the goats, the sheep, and then I can miss some one. Um, alpaca, yes, there we go. Um, but yeah, all these animals are really cool and I can't wait to build for them. They're going to make really good paddock zoo animals and I'm really looking forward to seeing more of the animal encounters feature as i think that would be really cool to expand upon in the in the new live stream coming up and of course jurassic world evolution 2 is getting a bit of a spotlight there so we'll see what happens with that live stream but yeah that's all for now the barnyard animal pack comes out april 30th and of course we'll probably cover some of these showcase animals that will be revealed over the next week until the pack releases but yeah so enjoy the game guys and let me know what your thoughts are of the Barnyard Animal Pack in the comments down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.